वी आर टेकिंग चैप्टर नंबर फोर एग्रीकल्चर क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर ऑन एग्रीकल्चर कृषि नेम वन इंपॉर्टेंट बेवरेज क्रॉप एंड स्पेसिफाई द जोग्राफिकल कंडीशन रिक्वायर्ड फॉर इट्स ग्रोथ सो विल टॉक अबाउट टी हेयर टी इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट बेवरेज क्रॉप इट इज यू नो वेरी पॉपुलर इन इंडिया एवरी वन ड्रिंक्स टी along with coffee and the tea plant grows well in tropical and subtropical climates it requires deep and fertile well drained soil rich in humus and organic matter tea bushes require warm and moist frost free climate all through the year frequent showers evenly distributed over the year ensure continuous growth of tender leaves so if you have an undulated terrain like this then you can grow the tree or plant there is a tree plantation so you can grow here it doesn't require water to stagnate here so the water will come and go along with this there are other things which we just talked about because always in this type of terrain we have deep rooted or deep soil so we need deep soil also and when drained drain soil and in this area we generally find humus and organic matter name one stable crop of india and the regions where it is produced so cotton is uh, one of the staple crops of india uh, major cotton producing states are maharashtra gujarat madhya pradesh karnataka andhra pradesh tamil nadu punjab haryana and uttar pradesh see this staple crop you can also give an example of uh, wheat or rice because this is what uh, staple means eating khadyan fasle so we just took this cotton just to give you an idea that we have one more crop which is quite popular in india but you can give the example of wheat and rice and we are just coming to this we have a discussion of this in the in coming questions unless the various institutional reform programs introduced by the government in the interest of farmers so the abolition of the zamindari consolidation of small holdings like very small 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 you know areas land they were just combined so this is called chakbandi provision for crops insurance against drought flood cyclone fire and diseases so if something happens to the crop then there is a provision of insurance to the farmer and establishment of gramin banks cooperative societies kisan credit card and personal accident the insurance scheme and banks for providing loan facilities to the farmer at lowest rate possible of interest also minimum support prices announcement of this uh, to ensure farmers did not suffer if the uh, crop some somehow crash or if there is a crop they grow there has to be someone to take it so government says that this is the minimum support price if you don't uh, sell it anywhere or you are not able to just come to us we will buy it and also subsidy sahaye ki on agriculture inputs and resources like the power like the fertilizers like the good quality seeds the land under cultivation has got reduced by day by day can you imagine its consequences so when the land is less and we have a lot of population so india shall no longer be self sufficient in, in its requirement of food grains which it is right now but if uh, the land or you can say the cultivation area decreases who is going to feed this much of population the landless laborers will outweigh the rank of unskilled employer workers in india and more farmers will switch or switch over to the uh, crops which are giving them more market value or cultivation of high value crops will be done suggest the initiative taken by government to ensure the increase in agriculture production so organic farming is much in vogue today because it is practice without factor made uh, chemicals such as fertilizers and uh, pesticides that is the organic farming so it does not affect the environment in a negative manner and indian farmers should diversify the crop cropping patterns for, from cereals to high value crops and this will increase their incomes also and also reduce environmental degradation or damage simultaneously because these fruits medicinal herbs flowers vegetables biodiesel crops like the 
the jatropha and jojoba needs much less irrigation than rice and sugar cane and these you know growing again and again they will also reduce the fertility so india's diverse climate can be harnessed to grow wide variety and range of high value crops how did the partition of the country in 1947 affect the jute industry so bangladesh you know there is a partition so most of the production was ours and most of the the industries were in bangladesh so it is known as the golden fiber jute so jute grows well on well drained fertilized or fertile soils in flood plains where soils are renewed every year so high temperature is required during the time of growth it is used in making gunny bags mats ropes yarn carpets and other artifacts and due to its high cost it is losing market to synthetic fibers and packing materials particularly the nylon so if you see that uh, you know there was a partition so bangladesh uh, let me write it as bd so this area and we have bengal here and indian region so most of the production was done here in indian region and most of the industries were there so when the partition happened most of the industries went here and they have very good uh, you know the flood plains etc so now they are growing also and now this bangladesh is the biggest market they are exporting their textile and now this is the one of the leading leading exporter of the jute product so this is how we got affected describe the geographical conditions required for the growth of rice so now this question i just told you that in the question previously that we talked about cotton there but it is not a staple one but we just talked about that but this question, this answer is equally uh, you can say applicable to that staple one so you can just write this again so let me go to the rice now so you can say that the staple food or crop is rice so rice is a kharif crop and it requires higher temperature about 25 degree centigrade and high humidity with annual rainfall over 100 cm so in the areas of res less rainfall it grows with the help of irrigation rice is grown in the plains of north and northeastern india coastal areas and deltaic regions so development of dense network of canal irrigation and tubewells have made it possible to grow rice in areas of less rainfall such as punjab haryana western uttar pradesh and parts of rajasthan this is rice so we have a project work uh, we you have to do some group discussion this you are going to do on an outline map of india show wheat produce, producing area so this is primary and secondary area we will be talking about so this region if you see this dotted region is the primary area as i said the punjab the haryanas and this area is the basic area on this ganga satluj plain is where the high high amount of uh, this gehu or wheat is been sown and being cultivated and this area is also the is also a good producer this region but little less than that but still we can count this and this area is prominent also for the wheat so this is the higher one primary and this is the secondary region this also solve the puzzle for following your search horizontally and vertically to find the hidden answers so two staple food crops of india so the two staple foods of crop india rice and wheat let me just answer first uh, this is the summer cropping season of india so kharif pulses like arhar moong dal gram urad contain protein it is a coarse grain so you can answer it as the jowar this is jowar then we have the two important beverages in india are the two important beverages in india are tea and coffee and one of the four major fibers grown on black soil is cotton so here we have this rice and wheat then we have kharif then we have this uh, protein then we have jowar and coffee then we have tea and then finally cotton now let us take a uh, multiple choice questions here in which type of soil does maize grow well the answer is old alluvial soil 
विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग क्रॉप्स आर ग्रोन विद द ऑनसेट ऑफ मानसून एंड आर हार्वेस्टेड इन द मंथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर एंड अक्टूबर विच वन इज दिस इज खरीफ फसल खरीफ क्रॉप्स विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ रबी क्रॉप रबी क्रॉप द आंसर इज वीट slash and burn agriculture is a slash and burn this is uh, you know it is called uh, you just uh, clear a land or you grow uh, on a land then you just just burn it and just leave it with the ash so that it it regains its fertility so the answer would be shifting agriculture shifting agriculture Which one of the following describes a system of agriculture where a single crop is grown on a large area? And this answer is, this is plantation agriculture. Plantation. Which one of the following is a leguminous crop? Leguminous. The answer is pulses. They are all leguminous plants. So pet pulses are also called as legumes. They are also called as lentils. Which one of the following is announced by the government in support of a crop? its minimum support price zooming refers to zooming and this is slash and burn agriculture in northern eastern states of india bhudan gramdan movement was initiated by the answer is vinoba bhave he was the uttaradhikari of mahatma gandhi's idea India is the leading producer and exporter of dash in the world. The answer is T, leading producer and exporter also. Rearing of silk worm is called as its sericulture. Yellow revolution refers to the answer is increased production of oil seeds, oil seeds. Cultivation of fruits and vegetable is called as its horticulture. the third agricultural season is the answer is zaid zaid india is the it is in between uh, rabi and kharif india is the dash largest producer of sugar cane in the world the answer is second second we have after brazil which one of the following states is the leading producer of rubber and the answer is Kerala Kerala White revolution refers to what is white revolution the answer is increased production of milk that is why it is white the leading producer of jowar jowar you know the coarse grain produce and the answer is maharashtra which position does india rank in terms of rice production in the world and the answer is second which one of the following statement is incorrect as regards to commercial farming and its family members are involved in growing crops it is not in commercial farming they are labors and it's done only for the uh, as the raw product for the industries or for selling it in the market intensive subsistence farming is practiced in area of the answer is high population high population density also punjab and haryana grow rice ma rice mainly due to and the answer is development of canal irrigation and tube wells that is good irrigation a type of millet rice in uh, rich in millet rich in iron calcium and other micronutrients and roughage is its ragi which crop is grown covering 12% of total cropped area and the answer is oil seeds tilhan specialized cultivation of fruits and vegetables is called its horticulture which one of the following countries produce 13% of world's vegetable of course it's india rearing of silk worms to produce raw silk is called as what is it called it's sericulture which crop is used both as food crop and feed crop and the answer is it's maize bhutta makai 
India is the largest producer and consumer of this crop? And the answer is oil seeds. Tea is beverage crop initially introduced by whom? By the British. Actually, the origin is in, from China, but British int introduced it to us. India produces dash percent of world's coffee production. How much? Who? 31. It's 4%. Oranges are mainly produced in the state of its Maharashtra. Grapes are mainly produced in the state of Andhra Pradesh. ICAR refers to and this stands for Indian Council of Agriculture, Agriculture Research. Grouping of small land holdings into bigger one is called, it's called Chakbandi. So what is it in English? It is consolidation of land holdings. Which one of the following crops is commercial crop in one state while it is subsistence crop in another state? And the answer is it is rice in Odisha. It's subsistence. Which day is celebrated as World Food Day? World Food Day. And it is 16th October. The percentage of India's population engaged in Agriculture, so it is around 60, 55 to 60 percent. So you can say it is two third. A type of farming in which crops are grown using primitive tools is it's primitive. The answer is this one. See the primitive, primitive word. So it is primitive subsistence farming. Rubby crops are sown in, and it's sown in winter, winter season. Which one of the following states is the leading producer, producers of jute? It's West, West Bengal. So this is the key. That is the uh, key to the answers of what we just talked about. So thank you so much and take care of yourself. Uh, let me reiterate that the question second, that is we talked about the staple food. We just gave the cotton there just to have an idea of cotton. But actually, later on when we talked about right, rice, it, that was the answer for the second question. I hope you got the idea. Okay. So, thank you so much. Take care of yourself.